Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CG Tutors Plus exclusively. And this time I will show you how to demolish the objects in 3ds Max. This time I'll tell you about a great plugin for 3ds Max which you can use uh, to break the things in 3ds Max as well as uh, Maya also. However, you will need a different installer for Maya. But here we'll talk about uh, 3ds Max and uh, this plugin is very fast and easy to use and you get awesome results with this plugin. Let me show you some examples uh, which I have created with this plugin and uh, these are the same examples uh, I'll tell you about today. Um, the first is box breaking. Uh, here I have shown how to break a box into pieces. Uh, this is uh, this is the scene I have made. Very simple. I play the scene, and you will see something like this. Isn't it awesome? The box gets shattered by the ball into small chunks, irregular chunks, just like the real world. You can see how fine these chunks are. The method uh, with this plugin is uh, quite fast and very uh, easy to use. You really don't need a high configuration system for it. I have a quad core processor, 4 GB RAM, 1 GB graphics, and my system is quite old, but I get very fast and awesome result with this configuration only. Imagine if you have a faster computer like i5 or i7 with 8 GB RAM, then how fast and excellent the performance and result would be then. Now let me show you the second example. In this example, a ball falls down um, on the ground and then gets shattered into many many pieces and chunks. You can see how beautifully the chunks get uh, scattered. Some bigger chunks, some smaller chunks. They are reacting very well with the ground. No intersection at all. A perfect result you can see with this plugin. And in the next example, I'll show you how to break the roof of a room, or ceiling wall of a room. This is something like the Superman has taken off while making the hole in the uh, roof. You can see all the chunks and debris are falling down. A very cool effect. So, in the first part of the tutorial, I'll tell you about how uh, I made all these three effects. One thing I noticed just now um, uh, that I haven't revealed the name of the plugin yet. So, uh, for that, go to this website pulldownit.com and the name of the plugin is same. Pull down it, or we call it PDI. You can see two versions of the plugin in the products menu. Pull down it for Max and pull down it for Maya. You can see that uh, this plugin has been used in John Carter movie. Uh, this is indeed a great plugin. For whichever software you want to purchase it, click on uh, that version and then click on buy now. You can buy it from here. And here I would like to thank the marketing head of this company, Jos Garcia, who arranged the plugin for me for the evaluation and uh, development of the educational contents based on this plugin so that it could reach to all of you. Now let's move to our main task. Before I move ahead, let me uh, show you quickly about how to install this plugin for 3ds Max. This is a very easy process. Once you get the plugin, you will see these three files. This is the main plugin, PDI Max FLT.DLU. It has a doc file which will uh, let you know how to install the plugin in detail. 
just pick this dot dlu file and go to the plugin folder of 3ds max uh, i have 3ds max 2012 this is plugins folder and you can paste the plugin here i have this plugin already here you can copy all the icons item and paste them into the ui folder so this is the way to install the plugin and once you have installed the pdi plugin you are now ready to demolish the objects so in the next video i'll show you how to break an object in 3ds max like this example